The vehicle that we're going to be working on today is a 2012 Chrysler 200. Uh, the complaint's going to be that the airbag light is on. I've gone ahead and hooked up the scanner. The code I got was a B2208, which pretty much stands for Occupant Restraint Controller Internal 2. Um, the test for this is pretty cut and dry. There's nothing really to check other than replace the airbag control module. It's ran its own test, found that there's an internal problem, and set a code. There's nothing else in the diagnostic tree that you need to worry about checking. If that code comes up, you're going to be replacing that module. So what I'm going to do is show you step by step how to replace it on this vehicle, how to get to it, and some of the safety precautions you need to take. So with that, let's get started. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is remove the center console. In order to get to it, to get it out, we've got um, to access the inside the storage. Pull up the belt liner. And we're going to have four 10 millimeter bolts going straight down. We're also going to want to pull up on the emergency brake as far as we can get it. We're also going to have to need to replace, or excuse me, remove the AC control head. There's going to be two bolts back behind here as well that are going to be 10 millimeters. Um, We'll go ahead and pull that loose. What I recommend doing is getting as far under as you can of that AC control head inside the store pan. Grab the lip and pull on it. Once you pull on it, you know, you're also going to unsnap the top, top edge. So we'll go ahead for the uh, sake of having room to work, go ahead and plug the AC control head. This one has three connectors. Now we set that to the side. Now we've got our two 10 millimeter bolts right here. You want to go ahead and get the bolts loosened. Nice little wiggle to make sure it's loose. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the trim bezel around the shifter and pop it up and out of the way. Next thing I recommend doing is there's a storage contain, uh, compartment right in front of the shifter. Go ahead and unsnap that from the console. That way we can get to the connectors on the back side. Now I've got that little storage container off to the side so that you can see um, one little step you're going to have to do. As you can tell, I've already disconnected the power outlet slash cigarette lighter. Uh, the next terminal or connector on here is the USB connector for the radio. Uh, it doesn't have a connector on the back, but it does, if you follow it back, it goes under this console and plugs right here. You'll need to go ahead and release that, pull that to the side, and also where my finger is, is where there's a plastic um, routing connector. Um, it just it's actually attached to the cable itself and pushes in to kind of keep it out of the way you'll have to release that and pull that once you do that this storage uh, compartment will come off and sit to the side and then we can work on getting this console out at this point we got that storage compartment out of the way those connectors loose or removed all the bolts we've got one major connector in the uh, area that the storage compartment used to be it's a big gray connector release that connector and you're done. Um, we're now going to work on taking the whole assembly out. It may help you if you just turn the key on, don't crank it, turn it on and move the shifter out of the way. And we're going to go straight up, clear that emergency brake handle and then start coming back. And then out of the vehicle. Now we're going to move on to getting to the airbag connector. The connectors to the airbag control module and then getting the airbag control module out of the way. It's located right behind where the, the center console was. It's directly in the middle under the center of the steering uh, instrument panel. At this point what we're going to have to do is go ahead and disconnect our, our negative battery cable. Uh, make sure everything's turned off and wait about five to ten minutes to make sure that the uh, 
capacitors inside the module are discharged. That way we don't have any issues where uh, airbag deployment or anything that we're going to be doing to cause us some damage to the vehicle as well as hurt ourselves. So with that, we'll move on to the airbag controller. Right, at this point, we've got the center console out. Um, we've pulled the carpet back to the side a little bit so I can show you a little better view of where the airbag controller is. Uh, as I said, it's tucked down in here. Our battery's been disconnected for over 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and work on disconnecting the, connect the electrical connectors going to it. Uh, on the driver's side, we're going to push in on the, the center portion, and then that's going to allow the black lever to move. Um, as it moves inward, it's actually going to push out on the connector. Uh, same thing on the other side, we're going to push in on the lock, as well as move the lever. And once again, that's going to pull that out as well. Now we've got our electrical connectors taken care of. We've got three 10 millimeter nuts that come uh, that we got to get to. There are actually studs in the floor pan that come up. Here's our replacement one, so I can show you. Um, this is the connector side, almost mirror image. Uh, here you go. You've got one here, here, and here. I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter on a quarter inch ratchet. And I'm going to take my time, back them out by hand, and then the insulation is going to be the opposite of removal. Put the new one in, tighten everything down, connectors, and then go back with the console. Um, and that will take care of the code I was getting. Uh, with that, I greatly appreciate you watching my videos. Always stay tuned for more.